All right, we're here with Su you okay? We're here with Suzanne Rogers, John Aniston, and Louise Sorrell. Great to see all of you. So talk about the fact that you know you guys are really busy on the show, and you know it's it's almost uncommon that people have been on the show a long time get good stories. Have a story but you life. guys you guys <laughs> have great stories right now. How does how does that feel for one as actors? Be Lucky. busy. Lucky. Have bu and be busy. Yeah, you're doing great. <laughs> I want to know. Otherwise, we wouldn't go to the studio. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, there you go. How does, well, you're fresh out of the box and you're about to get into the box. So how Not you my choice. <laughs> 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 It's a nice book. What is it like laying there and shooting? Is it hard? You don't have to do any walking or rehearsing. That's the best part. And you can well, be wearing anything from the waist down. Walking is very easy. You can be wearing anything from the waist down? No. They do long shots on the camera overhead. Yeah. No, they see you. Exactly. No. Okay. And, and you also control. have to be careful that you, you eat something, but not too much, because your stomach talks to you. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> And John, you have some of the best lines of the show. I always wait for your joke. Yesterday, yes, I, I, wrote this, I, I wrote this one down. The show that aired yesterday, you said, listen, you booze-soaked, booze money-grubbing, baby-swapping whore. Yes. So how long does it take? That real fast I was going to say, how long does it take you to rehearse those, one without laughing, and also just to get them yes. good? Oh, we have to get the laugh out I had a test early on. Yes, that's the way he is anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Dark and witty. <laughs> How did you feel about having someone called Victor their bitch? Yes. I know. Wasn't that terrible? No respect. No respect. Well, she was so happy to have the upper hand for a change. That's right. Good. Well, we'll see how long that lasts. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> And now, how does it, when you guys come to these events, I mean, a lot of times you're just on the set, you're shooting all the time, so you don't get all the contact, but you come to something like this, you feel all that love. How is that for each of you, experience? Um, it's, it's, well, I mean, we know we have good fans. I mean, the show's been on the air for 45 years, so we know we have good fans, but yeah, this is real close and personal. Uh, it's sometimes, it's, uh, they all mean well, and they, and, you know, they bring their cameras, and they get, they get in for nothing, and it's wonderful, and, and good idea for them. It makes them continue to turn on the show and watch the show. And, and they know us all. I mean, they know every one of us like this lady right here. <laughs> what kind of response do you get from fans? I mean, do they, do they, are they able to separate you from your character? Or? I hope so. Yes. Um, most of the time, yes, because I'm so anesthetical or not.
every 400 pound man. Oh my. She's running. It's like a bad movie. The car is coming, she's coming. The car is coming, she's here. My wife abandons me. Jerry goes running for the car. <laughs> At least we stand in I barely got in the car. Barely got in the car. <laughs> oh I have one that's sort of like that. Kind of. Go ahead. Um, not at all like that. I was uh, driving in the 405 going to La Jolla, and I was on the passenger side lane at 65 miles an hour, and I got, I didn't know what it was, but I thought I was dying. I had a kidney stone. Oh, I didn't know you did to put that in. Did you want to be a booger? But no, you just 